Hello world for another review. Um I know I haven't done many videos but I've got one hit right here. Um people like my Xbox friends have watched my videos and they've kind of wanted me to be able to what I'm like on Xbox. And I I'll try, I'm not gonna um be that active and just gonna do whatever I need to do and be more active in the get in the in the game. Uh, no, in the video. Um here it is Transformers Prime Crankcase. Uh I think he is a Hummer? I'm not. Well basically he's just a police car uh police truck. Because if you had a police car it'd be uh like a uh, barricade. Uh, here he is his vehicle mod. So you can see that he has tail lights they are actually just printed on in inside of here I think. Yes. It's got a uh, translucent orange here and here and back there. There's a bit of red. It's not really painted but it, you can kind of see the windows and all that. Uh, there's the back the side, you see, nice Decepticon logo. You see uh, why they put that that could have cut that in black. I don't know. Here is his tech weapon. Uh, it's supposed to be a machine gun, and what it does if you pull this lever here, it kind of turns into a little claw. And for because I've got a uh, barricade. I see there's no reason for him to have this. And I think current case just have it in his vehicle command, that's what that does. It's just a claw, that's it. Uh down to the undercarriage. If you just uh oh yeah. Little gimmick this has, it's got not gimmick but health feature, claws. I don't see what the, I know what the reason was but there is um, two other figures that were in the film with him. They were called the uh, Dreads, and they were the same vehicle but different robots. There was him, there was Crowbar, and there was Hatchet. But well, Hatchet has been released as a jet, and uh, um, Cyberverse Commander. And you got crowbar, the same vehicle mode, I think, but smaller. It's cyberverse. Uh, you can't really see, you can see like his head under there. You kind of look in there. Uh, down to the translation. I always start at the back here. Um, my friends are telling me to be more energetic. I really cannot be bothered, but transformation. Oh, it's got a boot. Ha! Huh. Funny. No, that's not it. But, but what you do is you lift this piece up and just fold it on the back like that. Uh, I normally start with the legs and then work up. Not for the front to work back there. Basically, you just untap them and you, got the, and you just unfold the legs. And split them like this. Um. I'll start up the top now because uh, I kind of need it to do the rest. As it's revealed the hook, the little pincers at the front, you grab this little piece here, pull that, actually, then you pull this front piece here and pull it back. Comes off these little tabs and these little holes here. You can kind of see it. Then you fold it against his back. If you just fold that piece down, it goes. So that basically, you just go. And then you basically open up the arms. And then fold down the chest. You basically got that. Fold down and the, up the head. And that. You can't really see it, can you? Like that. Then take the arms. And right here, you can kind of see it. There's little holes, holes, pegs, and there's a couple of holes in the chest area. Pull them up until you hear a little. No, you don't hear it, but you feel a little bit of a clicking. You carry on doing that, and there you go. If 
fall down its hands. Um, just to say, its hands are made out of rubber, and then just fall down there. Hands are made out of rubber. Then fall down its head to land on top of the right on top of that chest. To the to the uh, crotch. You basically, pull these four, and uh, you get this little black, uh, gray piece. You basically get like that. I'm trying to get comfortable on the seat, but I'm sitting on a stool. Uh, the, these pieces, turn them around, back up. Then you do each you fold that down. Both sides. First is like I mean, the first. The second is like the first. You do that. You're pushing this tire. Do you hear a little clicking? Then you pull that over it. Like that. The same is like that. And then there we go. Put the tire in. Then grab the toe of the feet. Push them back. And then sh that should just launch right in here. Then it like that. And you hear that good old click. You fold them in like that. Like. Yeah. So I'm just trying to get my, oh, my arms going and roll. Alright. You grab these pieces and fold the wheel from here to up here. If you, if you choose to. Same again. And just, just fold that up. Put that up. There it is. Transformers. Uh, Transformers Dark of the Moon Crankcase uh, Weaponry, as I said, I give uh, Crankcase Barricade's weapon and his own weapon. I was actually going to buy another one of him for the other uh, Dread. I can't find him anymore. All I can find is uh, Ratchets, Bumblebees, Laser Beach. The uh, Thunder Crackers, I will buy a Thunder Cracker eventually. But there's Mech Tech, web, uh, Mech Tech holes in the arm here. When it was in its vehicle, mount, it had Mech Tech weapons up here. A little bit weird, but still. You basically use stick. That in there, and then you just go. Oh, here you go. Alright, next articulation. Oh, lovely crankcase. Um, you got, if I just move that, so you got 360 with the arm. It's got kind of turn it in and out, arm movement. It's got an elbow joint. It's got a hand joint, but I can do that. But these are just made out of rubber. Same again with the other arm. The head is uh, on a, I think it's a ball joint. But you can kind of make it look up if you take it off, off the joint. The legs, you can go, uh, it, they can go in and out, back, and out because of the kibble, it can't really go back a bit. Uh, it's, got an, it's got a swivel there, you basically got that kind of movement. You got the knee joint, and then you got the foot. You kind of can move. Slightly, but not that much. But again, you can add these weapons to him. I don't need to add his own weapon. A barricade weapon, because it kind of looks... That's what, that's what I make it look like in its... If it's... I'm trying to make a movie or something. That's what it looks like normally. We have a size comparison. I'm going to bring in. I'm thinking here. Oh, I bring. Only because I want to bring this in. Here is Transformers Rain the Fallen. That way. And you can tell Soundwave is a bit smaller than him. But uh, I'll try and bring one in that's uh, I think about his size, but all bigger than him. I'm trying to make it not sound, not make sound like fall off. But I'm not going to grab him because he's going to fall. I'm going to grab him. I'm trying to grab figures. I'm not going to make my other figures fall over. 
is Jazz like you seen in my other video. Here's Crankcase and Jazz. I think. I said I can get this. I think Jazz is a bit bigger, but and because of Crankcase's um, horns, he's a bit bigger if you count the horns. But I know uh, with Crankcase, he with well, but basically with my. Is the foot, the leg side coming out of place? That it's hard to do that. And bend his leg slightly, like you can't see it. Bend his leg slightly, like right here. Um, then he can just grab some other parts. If I actually get, get in a good, without looking like he's a, yeah, he's gonna blast jazz in the chest. I'm trying to be entertaining um, for trying to be entertaining but I'll just do this fall over fall oh oh I got, I got him I grabbed I grabbed him I mean I said on a bot hey I win I'm, I'm going off the track but You can see kind of see just foot back there. Uh, here is Transformers Prime Deluxe Class Crankcase. Great figure. Um, I do recommend the figure. But it's he's kind of wanted to be for the Dark of the Moon figures. Um, please write, write and subscribe and message me if you want any more videos. Um, to anybody who wants me to uh, put a invitation down there saying who's actually um, asked me to be a bit funnier, it's funnier in my videos. I will try being funnier in these videos. I will try. I'm not gonna do anything astounding or any better, but just to say. My friend has helped me be a bit more energetic or more funnier, like I'm on my Xbox. Um, I will be more energetic with these figures. I have done. Oh, yeah, Caster. Ha! I have jazz, you don't. I know you don't have a jazz. Ha <laughs> ha! I can rub it in your face. Sorry. Um, and I can rub this in your face as well. No. I can rub that in your face, can't I, um, Caster? Because you, you can't, you haven't looked anywhere, have you? You've just been sitting there on your Xbox for the last how many days and go to school. But you haven't been bothered to go to, um, get to a store to pick for these awesome figures! Yes. Not saying they're awesome, but just saying some of them are awesome. No. Whatever you do, Caster, don't pick up a wheel, a cliff. Actually, if you want a cliff jumper, get it. It's your choice. If you're wondering what I'm balancing this on to make it a bit more straight, I have, it's not on a stand or anything, it's just on a piece of Lego bits. Just to stand it up. Do just does the job well. Um, as I said, uh, thank you for watching the video. Wait to subscribe. Message me if you want any more stuff. Um, if you want any other videos, I will try bring some of the videos you want up. But only if I have them. You can ask for some like some of the dark and the moon stuff. It, you can bring. You can tell me to put anything on here. It doesn't really matter. You can put more, like some of my binacle marks. My Transformers, my Power Rangers stuff. I don't have a lot of Power Rangers stuff, just to say. Um, my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, my Chaotic cards, my Pokemon cards, my Reticai cards, my background here. If you want, the you want more of these or some other stuff. It's it basically it's your decision what you want me to review. I like reviewing stuff like this, and I like reviewing other stuff. But it's your choice. If you want me to do stuff like other stuff, 
just message me. Just message me if you want any other stuff. Um, as I said, rate and subscribe, and goodbye. See you for another video, and as I said, bye.